Good morning. Robert Davis back here with you. Got something exciting for you today. A new database alternative for Delphi and a C++ builder. So let's go ahead and get started. The uh, it's, This is DBI sound from ElevateSoft.com. And we're going to minimize this for a minute. And the first step that we're going to have, let's look at the cheat sheet, is start the DBI SAM server or dbserver.exe. And I've got a folder with shortcuts to them. And here we go. Double click dbserver.exe and it's started. So, the, and the defaults are fine. What's the next step? Create DBI SIM database. Okay. Uh, we need server admin for that. And we'll log into the server admin and DB admin. There we go. We'll go to databases and we'll add one. So, let's give it a name. We'll call this uh, Clients. We use the directory that I've been using. <clears throat> and we'll save this. Okay. And uh, we can close this. And now we're going to go to where? DBSys and create our table. So let's. Click that, and we're going to add a table, and I'm going to make an ID field. It's auto ink. Yes, it's required, and we'll have middle name's not required, L name. is required and we'll add phone and uh, email and then when we're done with that we'll click create it's going to ask us to log back in and we'll create that table as clients under Great. And it's successfully created. Okay. We don't need this anymore for right now. And we don't need that anymore. So if it's not running, start the Delphi application. But it is running. Let's create a new Windows VCL application. And what's our cheat she said to do next? Let's see. Drop a TDBI SIM engine on the main form. Okay. We'll go down here to DBI SIM. And drop a TDBI SIM engine on the form. And we'll stay in in some type of client. And then uh, drop a TB, TDBI SAM session on the main form and give it a session name. So, go around here and give it a session name. I just like to name this. 
accessioning clients. Move that over and our cheat sheet. Drop a TB TDBI SIM database on the form. Base name is clients directory then it's important to assign it the session name at session name clients and then Drop a TDBI SIM uh, table on the main form. We'll do that. And we'll, uh, we'll set the session name. Set the database name, clients, and we'll set the table name. Up oh, next screen, sorry, it's a trial version. Clients. Now we can double click the table and we'll right click and say add all fields. The ID field is maintained internally by DBI SIM. So we'll just take these forms, expand this a little bit, take these uh, fields, drop them onto the main form. And we're gonna set these really long ones to uh, width of 392 bring this in a bit and let's go get us a TDB navigator data controls navigator we'll just put this down here somewhere and set the data source of the navigator to Data source one. The other thing you must make sure of is go to project options, runtime packages, and click this on to link with runtime packages. Save that. And let's see what our cheat sheet say. Now we'll put a button on the formula. And we'll change the caption to open database. And then we'll double click on the button here to get to the on click event. And we'll say DB ISAM table one open. And because you're calling the table open method, it ripples down through all the uh, DBI SAM components and activates those or turns them on. Back to design mode. Are we all set? Yeah, let's run this puppy. Here we go. Better save it. I'm gonna say new folder. Call that DB I Double click on it. We'll call this uh, 
Success. And we need to open our database. There's nothing in it, but you see from the DB Navigator, it's ready. So, put myself in here. And a fictitious Gmail account. Okay. And then click plus. We get to a new record. And we'll click on the post record right there and so you see we've got two records in the database so far and you just add them till your heart's content um, this is a, a nice setup for uh, doing contacts your personal contacts things like that now one of the things that I don't have in here, and we'll go back to the DBSYS utility to alter the table. And there we go. Let me see this utilities alter table. And we're going to alter clients. I'm going to go down here and put, make that a memo. It's not required, and the default link is fine, and it's successfully altered. Close that, minimize that, and we'll minimize that. Go back to Delphi, and we'll open some space up here. We've got to use the fields editor here to add fields. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> we get the notes field. Let's add that to the fields editor. And we can close that now. And we need a database enabled memo field. So here we go. That's fine. Move this down one and run it. Nag screen. Oh, I didn't assign the data source to in field to the memo object. Data source one field notes. Okay, there we go. Run it. I'm about tired of that. <clears throat> and go next. And we'll post that. Go back to me. And you should notice updating properly. And congratulations. Now you're up running. If you follow along the steps, now you're up running with DBI SIM in Delphi. And DBI SIM again is from ElevateSoft.com. Let's go take a quick peek at. Uh, their website. Here it is. See elevatesoft.com. This is their home page. Um, and to get DBI SIM, you just click the downloads over here and click DBI SIM. Log in. And here you can download the you always want to get the add additional uh, utilities. You always want to get that latest build. And then you'll download this. 
um, I'm using Rad to do 10.4. I accept. And this is a little error that says uh, you've already downloaded it. And I have because I'm using it. So, uh, again, it's elevatesoftware.com. I'm sorry, elevatesoft.com. And downloads. And there you have it. Let's run this one more time here. Next screen. And we've got our database and a main table for clients. So there you go. That's all there is to it. And you're up and running with DBI Sam with Delphi in Delphi. So thanks for spending this time with me. I've enjoyed showing you this. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Again, my name's Robert Davis. Have a great day and a great rest of your week. Bye.